Hello and welcome. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make SMUT with the Source Filmmaker. You're not required any knowledge about Source Filmmaker, programming or 3D stuff. All you need is some fantasy and you can play along. So let's get started. And these are the things you'll need. Source Filmmaker, which you can get over Steam, and the photo editor of your choice. Either Photoshop or GIMP or whatever you like. Download Steam, Auntie Google will tell you where to get it, and after you install Steam, click on Store and search for Source Filmmaker. Easy as pie. Download and install it, and then start it up. When you first start it up, it should look a bit like this. Enter name, I choose tutorial or whatever, and then click on create. And now we're going to add some downloadable content. Go to this menu here, and then click each of those entries one after the other. Wait a minute, downloading will take a while. You can check the progress under Steam under Active Downloads. After everything is downloaded, just quit and click on Save. Now launch Source Filmmaker again, but instead of clicking on Launch Source Filmmaker, click on Launch SDK. Now you should be able to see this window. Click on Edit Search Path for Selected Mod. Now check every box that is unchecked and click on OK. Don't mind the folders you might not have. These are custom folders I created. I will show you how to later. Now check the DLC box. It's the upper one. It should show you every DLC installed. OK, now, where do we get models? The easiest way is of course the Steam Workshop, but those models are safe for work. If you want any of those models, just click on Browse Workshop and click the plus sign under the model and it should install it to your Source Filmmaker. No big deal. But we're not here for that, of course. The better alternative, of course, is SFM Lab. Just create an account over there and you get access to all the 18 plus models. The link is in the description. Download this FemShap model, link in the description, and this map, so we have something to use it with. Now unpack the files you downloaded into a folder, like this. Open the FemShap folder and copy the material and the models folder. Copy them into the folder I show you on the screen. Now repeat the same stuff with the folders I show you on the screen. Copy everything you see on here. And then put it into user mod like before. Important, only copy the materials, models, maps, folders and the scripts folders. Not the upper folders. If you do that, Source Filmmaker can find the models. Don't ask me why, that's just how it works. There, all done. Let's make some smart. Start up Source Filmmaker again and load the file we did save the last time. Ok, at first we're going to need a map. Just right click in this window and select Load Map. Enter Apartment into the search box and the map uh, Apartment 2016 should pop up. Click on open or double click it and the map should load. Now we're going to create a new camera. Click the plus button and select the upper one, camera. There we go. Select the motion editor, the button here 
and then select your new camera like this. Select the camera, make sure the motion editor is active. And by clicking the left mouse button, you can move the camera around. By pressing the X and Z button while holding down the mouse button, you can move up and down. By pressing WASD, you are able to move forward, backward, left and right. If you also hold the shift key down, you will be able to move a lot faster. I personally like to roam around a bit before I decide. Take your time, whatever tickles your fancy or whatever. The couch looks good. Let's go for the couch. Right click on the window and select Render Settings. Now turn off Ambient Occlusion. You can change the camera settings too if you like, but it's not necessary. It's just my personal taste. By the way, by clicking on the camera button, you can change between your shot camera and your work camera. It lets you move around without messing up the shot. Like this. Now we add our model. Click on plus again and select model, uh, not light, model. Enter FemShap V2. Double click on it or click open. And there she is. Select her and make sure the motion editor is active. You can move her either with this or you can click on the arrows like this and now you can move her around. Play a bit with it. Ok, let's turn on the, off the lights. See? Easy to move her around. Play a bit with the controls to get a feeling for them. They're pretty much self-explanatory. Now you know how to move the whole model, but how about a body part? Move your mouse into the window and press the control key. Select the gyros and move her a bit around, just for testing. Here you can take all the time you like. Find a pose that kinda looks good to you. If you mess up, don't worry, you can just redo and redo again. Let's go for her lying on her side. Just try to make it look natural. It doesn't need to look perfect. You can always hide your crumbs with a neat camera angle. Also, you can just pull the camera on screen 
and it will snap to this camera. Always pulse the spine, a bit curved. Nobody stands or lies totally, totally straight like a ruler. If you would pose them like that, they would totally look like Barbie dolls or something. Not very natural. If you're not using a reference, it's always a bit tricky to figure out how it should look. There, that could work. Close the arm a bit. Like this. Move the camera to a better angle. Like this. The leg. Make a look into the camera. The other arm, of course, very important. And I think I have an idea how it will look in the end. Now click on face and modify the sliders for the eyes so she looks into the camera. There. Now Click on unknown and there you find a lot sliders more for facial expressions. Let's give her a bit of a smile, not too much. It would just make her look silly. Fiddle a bit around with those sliders, till you get an expression that fits your needs. Maybe you want her to look angry or something. You can do that too. Just try them all out. Okay. Looks fine so far. The pauldron a bit like this. Yes. And now for the fingers. For the fingers I have a knee trick. Select them all by pressing the shift key. Uh, all except the sum. Then right click on the gyros and select local. That way you can move all the fingers at once. Very useful if you want uh, to grip something. After you're done, turn the rotation back to world. Or you can get some pretty creepy effects. Posing the fingers in a natural way is kind of hard at first, but you'll get used to it. Just imagine your hand in this situation and you should be fine, I think. And there we go, all done. Enable the lighting again. 
and now add a new light by right clicking like this. Pull the light into the primary viewport and you can move it around like a camera. The light also has a lot of sliders you can use. You can make it bigger or smaller, focus and defocus it and you can color it. See, like this. Let's go for a kind of reddish, pinkish glow thingy. I don't know how to call it. Yeah, like this. Looks fine. Now we add a second light. Also pull it into the viewport. And it comes from the other side. Change the intensity a bit. There. Copy the light and pull it into the viewport. So we have a bit light in the background. Would look good if it was too dark. Paste the light again, because we are lazy like this, and give her a bit light from behind. And that's it, I think. Looks pretty good. Aside from one thing, you'll probably want to ask, hey, how do I get her close off? Okay, I can show you. But of course I have to censor it for YouTube. Duh. Click on her model, right click and select body groups. And then select none for torso. And then go for arms or gloves and select shepherd arms. Them. Do the same for the pants and the collar. Of course, not all the models have this option, only the 18 plus ones. And now let's put her clothes back on again, so you don't have to stare at this Pokemon the whole time. Now it's time to export a picture, a poster, like Source Filmmaker calls it. For that select File, Export, Poster. Click on Save. I usually use double of my screen resolution. Give her a name. and click save and export poster. This should take around 5 to 20 seconds or so. And we're done with Source Filmmaker. Now open up your photo editing software and we can put the final touches on the picture. First select levels and make it a bit darker, only a smidgen. Now go on color lockup and select the one that you like best.
some work better for some pictures or other for others. Now right click and flatten the image. Now click on curves and make it a bit darker, only a little bit. Flatten the image again. Select Vibrance. And only go for a low value. So the colors are a bit more vibrant, of course. Now for a neat little trick to bring more details out. Duplicate the layer, select Filter, Other, High Pass. Select a value around 2.0 and click OK. Then change the other layer to Overlay. As you can see, it gets a few more details than the normal render. And that's it basically. Save it and you're done. Your pics should look a bit like this now. See? Doing SFM is far from magic and can really be fun. Join me next time for the joy of Source Filmmaker. Bye bye.